Locksmith on the line. What's up, big dog? What's happening, homie? What's up? What's up, man? I'm gonna let you introduce yourself and let everybody know where you're from and what you do, big dog. Do your thing. Yes, this is uh, Locksmith. I'm representing Richmond, California. I'm a hip hop rap MC. Um, you know, representing the West Coast, Richmond, California. Yeah, that's what's up. Okay, so let's get into your uh, Locksmith. How did you get your name and when did you start? Man, I got my name, you know, just coming up, um, just rapping, man. I think in like one of the first raps that I ever wrote, um, I was in a group at the time, Frontline. Frontline? And, uh, yeah, and, my, um, and this was like, you know, I don't know, I, w I would say like maybe like late 90s, like 99, uh -huh. when I very first started rapping in yeah. um, 98, 99. Yeah. And uh, I said lyrical locksmith in a rap. And then my homies was like, yo, that sounds dope. And then my, 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 um, my boy left was like, that sounds like a dope man. That should be your name, Locksmith. So it just stuck with me. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's just, and I haven't, I'm not one of those dudes that like change my rap name every year. <laughs> I just, you know what I mean? I just kept it and that's what it is. Yeah, that's what's up. So, um, so how long have you been um, doing music for? I would say, seriously, like when it really started, when I first got like the real notoriety was probably like 2003, you know, with Frontline. That's when we um, first got like songs on the radio. You know, I, I went on the MTV and did the big freestyle battle. That was like kind of like 2003 was like really like a big year as far as like wow. really set my feet. But I had been doing it, you know, rapping is just rapping for a while before that. You know what I mean? As a kid, yeah. it, it just, you know, in a group we started rapping and, yeah. you know, so, but I, I would say seriously, almost like 10 years. You know what I mean? Like seriously, 10 years. That's what's up. So you being part of that MTV uh, gig, uh, can you take us into that? How was that to be part of that? And what did you do? Um, it was basically, it was just a big freestyle competition. Um, I had won um, a big battle for the, local, uh, the radio station out here in Northern California. I won the battle to, to get, um, and they flew me yeah. to, New York, to New York to New York. participate in the national battle for MTV. Yeah. And, um, you know, and I, and I, you know, and, you know, uh, I was graciously able to, uh, to win and get all the way to the final round, which, I, um, you know, which, uh, which, you know, which I was, you know, I was uh, deemed runner-up. Yeah. I didn't win the whole thing, but it, it still got me a lot of exposure on national TV because, you know, it was in Times Square, it was on MTV, it was in the studio, so that was 2003. Yeah. And then after that, it just gained a lot of notoriety Then I was able to come back to the Bay Area and, um, you know, release songs with, um, with Frontline and, yeah. um, you know, put out music. And, you know, that's when we had, like, big songs like What Is It and Bang It yeah. and all those kind of songs, you know, working with, like, E.A. Ski. Yeah. And, um, you know, those kind of things coming back as a group. Yeah, that's what's up. So, um, Frontline, how's the group going on? Are you guys still together? Are you guys coming out with an album? What's the dilly, yo? Um, we're still cool. I mean, that's still our brother. Um, yeah. that's, that's production. So, like, my last mixtape, which is um, I Am Locked, you can get at IamLocked.com. Yeah. He did, a bunch of, um, he did a bunch of tracks on that. So, Left has always kind of been, he's always been, like, um, you know, uh, playing the producer role, too. So, I've more so, like, ventured off into doing my solo. So he's like supporting me on that, but I wouldn't count it out. You know what I mean? It's like mm. definitely possible. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. So, um, in your whole career so far, what is like your memorable moment in your whole career so far? Man, a lot of moments, man. I mean, of course, the battle on MTV was like yeah. a great moment, man. It was just like a great look, nationwide look, and to be able to perform and represent for the West Coast, and um, you know, in the Bay Area and Richmond. It's just that was just a obviously definitely a great moment and then just being able to have songs on the radio you know to come home and have big songs on the radio perform at summer jams and, and then being able to meet you know legends like snoop and ice cube and, and these kind of people and then you know eventually even working with people like ski beats out in new york who produced for jv who just produced my latest album and then wow. which you can go to i am and and um you know and get the embedded album uh, but so yeah, I mean, I had a lot of memorable moments, man. I would say those are probably you know ones that stuck out the most. Yeah, that's what's up. So uh, projects wise, what projects can we look for? Uh, well, like I said, right now I have the I Am Lock mixtape, which you can get at I Am Lock dot com. Um, I have the embedded album, which you can get at I Am Lock dot com. Embedded is entirely produced by Ski Beats, mm -hmm. so you know he produced for like Jay Z, Currency. Um, 
you know, Nas. I mean, he produced some big cats, so he produced the entire album. It's a really, really great project. I'm really proud of it. And then um, I'm getting ready to release um, my next project, which is entitled Labyrinth. Yeah. Um, and it's, com- it's completely free. Um, it'll be available March 29th. You can go to IamLock.com and, and download the um, and download the project. It's, a, it's all original material. I've already released like three videos off of it. So if you want to see the music CD with music videos, just go to IamLock.com. If you want anything about Locksmith, just go to IamLock.com. Everything is on there. That's what's up. Um, top three artists that you worked with that you were a fan of. That I've worked with? Yeah, that you worked with. Um, man, you know, it's not too many. Um, I haven't really been able to really collab with too many. I mean, I just recently, um, I've I worked with Crick and I. Yeah. You know, um, I did a record with him in the past. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he just recently reached out to me, you know, now that he signed a Slaughterhouse and all those great things, he just reached out to me and asked me, you know, um, they signed with him and M Shady Records, he, he reached out and asked me to get on a song with him, so that was a real great honor. Okay. So, uh, so you know, I just did a song with him, so that's just actually, uh, of course, that's an honor to work with him. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, uh, um, of course, um, working with somebody like uh, Ski Beats, you know, over there on the East Coast, who produced for Jay-Z, yeah. and these kind of people, and, um, you know, being able to work with him. Um, that was a great thing. So, you know, and I'm still, you know, I'm still still paying my dues, man. I'm still on the grind. So, but right now I'm trying to focus more on um, establishing myself, the people getting getting familiar with me as a person. And then I got I got some features on this uh, Labyrinth project. I just don't want to talk about it yet, but okay. you'll, be, you know, be, you'll be seeing it real soon. So you got to get it to, to know who's on that album. Um, top three artists that you haven't worked with yet that you want to work with. Um, you know what? It's not maybe not so much artists, but more, more main, mainly producers. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, I would love to work with like Just Blaze. I would love to yeah. work with like Premier. Yeah. Um, I mean, people say Dr. Dre, but that's almost like a fairy tale. Like that don't exist <laughs> no more. You know what I mean? It's like you know. But of course, you know, you gotta mention Dr. Dre and Timberlands and people like that. Um, and um, yeah, man. I mean, just more so producers. I really would like to, you know, branch out, and expand mm-hmm. my sound, and work with different producers. Ninth Wonder is another dope producer. Yeah. Um, that I admire. So yeah. Um, what do you want people to know about Locksmith? Um, man, just that I'm just um, I'm a really artistic and creative person, man. Like I really enjoy trying to push the boundaries of what I can do and what music can do and what art can do and I enjoy other artists that are like that so that's the kind of stuff I'm interested in if you if you go to um, iamlike.com and see all my recent videos and all the recent material you can just see it's a wide variety even though it all has like a common thread but there's you know my, my artistic and my musical palette is very diverse and I just like to express that and showcase that so when you get locked in if you're gonna get you're gonna get real sincere music, but at the same time, it's not gonna be like I would hope. It's not gonna be just monotonous and be the same thing. Yeah, yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. Um, let's get into your links, like your Facebooks, your Twitters, and you know everything like that, so everybody can check you out and websites. Man, the, the easiest thing to do is go to iamlock.com. My Facebook is there. My Twitter is there. My YouTube. Okay. You can link everything to that. Yeah. Do, do, is is there anything else you want anybody to everybody that's listening right now to know about Locksmith? Uh, what would that be? Um, man, just you know, March 29th, ninth, Labyrinth, man. Yeah. Go to iamlock.com and and let the music um let the music speak for itself. Just listen to it, vibe out. Um, I'm really I'm really excited about the project. I think it's really dope. Um, I decided to give it away for free just because I yeah. wanted to just. I just wanted the fans to be able to enjoy this work. I didn't want nobody to be excluded. Because I know sometimes people can just be broke. I know sometimes I'm broke. Yeah. So I just want to <laughs> give people something where it's like, every, nobody's excluded. Everybody, if you just got two seconds to click on a download and you take your time to do it and you look, you're taking a listen, you just give it a shot. If not, then, you know, put it in the trash. So, but if, if, if you like it, then put it on your iPod, share it, tell your people, and spread it around. Yeah. March 29th. That's what's up. So look out for that as well. Uh, can, do you want to bust a little freestyle on the on the on the phone or or or, or oh, not? Oh man, you know I, I, freestyle. I can't do that over the phone. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> yeah, most definitely, most definitely. Uh, shout outs. You want any shout outs for anybody, man? Man, just just shout out to everybody. Just 
shout out to everybody that's um, that's just really being creative and, and, and trying to push our fo- uh, culture forward, man. And shout out to everybody that um, that's a supporter of uh, not just my music, but just of music in general and just the arts, man. Let's keep this alive. Let's keep our culture alive, you know? Yes. Anything else, Big Dog? That's it, man. Go to IamLock.com, March 29th.